This episode of Android Authority is brought to you by Full Sail University. Yes, as you've probably heard, Google has announced an emergency security update for all Nexus devices. But don't worry, it's not quite as bad as it sounds. Google has just announced that they are releasing a mid-month security patch due to the discovery of an exploit that could potentially bring harm to some devices, namely the Nexus 5 and the Nexus 6. The issue arose after Google found out about a routing application using an unpatched local elevation of privilege vulnerability in the kernel. Now, what that means is that there is a malicious application that could have power to affect the code within the software, and the only way to fix the handset then would be to reflash the whole operating system. Massive pain in the butt. Google does protect you from such apps in the Google Play Store, and even uses Verify apps to keep external threats away. The only way to have been affected is if you were convinced to manually install the rooting app. In Google's own words, they say this, this advisory applies to all unpatched Android devices on kernel versions 3.4, 3.10, and 3.14, including all Nexus devices. Android devices using Linux kernel version 3.18 or higher are not vulnerable. Now, for those of you looking for news on the HTC 10, it's all becoming a little bit clearer. These details come courtesy of EVLeaks, the source that revealed many of the other specs that surfaced around the HTC flagship, including its commercial name, the HTC 10. According to EVLeaks, the 10 will feature a Super LCD 5 panel. The leaker didn't confirm the screen dimensions, but we know from an older report that we should expect a 5.15 inch Quad HD panel, a slight increase over the 5 inch panel of the M9. Super LCD is a marketing term used by HTC to denote a display where the liquid crystal layer is laminated to the outer glass, which reduces glare, improves clarity, and makes the panel thinner. The 1M9 features a Super LCD 3 display, but it's not clear what improvements a Super LCD 5 will bring to the HTC 10. As for the battery, we're looking at a small increase in capacity over the 2840 mAh battery unit inside the 1M9. To recap, we expect the HTC 10 to feature a 5.15 inch Quad HD display, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 processor, and an Adreno 530 GPU, 4 GB of RAM, and USB Type-C. HTC will allegedly have the quote, world's first world-class camera on front and back. We look forward to seeing that. Now, as everyone knows, Mother Google makes billions and billions of dollars every quarter, but it looks like trouble is ahead. New figures released by Statista have shown just how huge advertising is to Google. The search giant officially earned one third of all digital advertising revenue globally in 2015. That's 33.3 on the nose. Want to know how much money that actually is? A cool $67 billion. But beneath this shiny surface, the facts tell a slightly different story. Looking at the data released by Statista, you can see that Google's online advertising revenue is growing at an increasingly slower rate, up 16.9% in 2013, 14% in 2014, and only 11% in 2015. Given its current rate of decline, Google's revenue growth will flatline within just four years. While the revenue graph still looks pretty great, Google's slice of the global market is also on the slide. So who else is making money hand over fist, and are they doing better than Google? Well, Facebook is one good example. While Facebook isn't making anywhere near the same amount of money as Google, the social platform is enjoying fantastic growth, with four times the revenue in 2015 as it made in 2014. Compare growth to growth, Facebook's advertising revenue grew 38% in 2013, 39% in 2014, and 32% in 2015. That's three times the rate of growth Google enjoyed last year. Now you long-term viewers will know that I've interviewed scores of web developers, also people from hacker schools. And one of the biggest indications of success is having a portfolio that can demonstrate your worth and your skill set. And our sponsor, Full Sail University, can help you build just that. The Software Development Undergraduate Program can teach you how to create your own programs and applications. The Web Design and Development Undergraduate Program can help you build your own digital portfolio of web production. To learn more about Full Sail's web and technology programs, visit fullsail.edu forward slash authority.